Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Students, today we have a topic rate. This is our lesson number two, solving word problem. This is your textbook page 235-236. This is your question number one. We will do question number one now. The table shows how much a waiter was paid at a restaurant. Payment for nine, morning nine to evening six is dollar 10 per hour it means the rate for one hour is dollar 10 from morning 9 to evening 6 and after evening 6 dollar 15 per hour it means the rate is dollar 15 per hour we have to find the waiter started working at 5 pm and ended work at 10 pm how much was the waiter paid for his work that day 5 pm 5 pm to 6 pm one hour payment is rate for one hour is dollar 10 and 5 to 6 one hour and 6 to 10 four hours four hour rate is dollar 15 per hour now we start our working Payment for one hour. One hour. You have to mention how much one hour. One hour is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. You must mention this. Payment for one hour is dollar 10 now payment for payment for 4 hours which 4 hours 4 hours from 6 pm to 10 p.m. these four hours so payment for 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. is dollar 15 per hour now look carefully payment for one hour is dollar 10 and payment payment for four hour is dollar 15 payment for four hour is dollar 15 per hour we have to Multiply 15 by 4. We get dollar 60. Now we have to find, we have to find how much was the waiter paid for his work that day. How much he was paid. 1 hour payment is dollar 10. And 4 hour payment is $1.60. At the end, we have to add both the values. Total payment. Total payment is $1.10 plus $1.60. The answer is dollar seventy. This is how we get that the payment for the waiter is dollar seventy. This is our question number two. A machine can print one fifty pages in ten minutes. How many pages? Can the machine print in one hour? Explain your answer. Students, first of all, we change this hour into minutes. We write our conversion here. We write one hour equals to 60 minutes. Now we find that uh, how many pages can the machine print in 60 minutes? Number of pages, 150 pages are print 
in 10 minutes, we find the number of pages print in 60 minutes. First of all, uh, we find our rate for per minute, rate for one minute. First of all, we find. Look at this, how we find. A machine can print pages in 10 minutes. How many pages? 150 pages. A machine can print uh, pages, 150 pages in one, one uh, in 10 minutes. Now we find a machine can print print pages in one minute. We divide. When uh, there are uh, greater values given, we convert into units, then we divide. 15 divided by 10, we get 15. A machine can print 15 pages in one minute. Now we easily find that a machine can print pages in 60 minutes. In 60 minutes. What we do now? We multiply. When the value of one thing is given and they ask us more than one minute, more than one, then we multiply. We multiply 60 by 15. The answer is 900. So the machine can print, the machine can print 90 pages in 60 minutes. This is how we done our question number 2. Now students, we have question number 3. The graph below shows the exchange rate between the Singapore dollar and the British pound on a particular day. Vertically and horizontally values are given. Vertically values are Singapore dollars and horizontal values are British pounds. In two Singapore dollars, we get one British pounds, and in four Singapore dollars, we get two British pounds. First of all, A part is we are going to part A. Kate has one pound. How much is that in Singapore dollars? Kate has one pound. One pound means we check values from horizontal line horizontal line in one british pound we check how many dollars go up then left we come two we come to two so in one british pounds we have two singapore dollars we write the answer there Kate get two Singapore dollar dollar in one pound. Now we check Mr. Smith wants to exchange $500 for British pounds. Mr. Smith wants to exchange $500 into British pounds. We just have the values for 1 to 4 dollars. In 2 Singapore dollars, we get 
one British pound. And in four Singapore dollars, we get two British pounds. How we do this question? First of all, we change uh, these five hundred dollars. Uh, we first of all we find the rate for one dollar. We have rate for two dollar that is one pound. We write it like this. Rate for two dollars. Rate for two dollar is one pounds. Now, rate for one dollar is one divided by two. Now, rate for Five hundred dollars. We multiply one by two with five hundred. When we divide five hundred by two, we get two fifty. We get two fifty dollars. So in five hundred. In five hundred dollars, we get in five hundred dollars, we get two fifty pounds. By mistakenly, I write dollar here. This is how we do our conversion. First of all, we convert two dollars into. Um, one dollar. We have uh, one pound in two dollars. We find how many pounds in one dollar. We have half pound in one dollar. Now we find how many pounds in five hundred dollars. We multiply five hundred uh, by one by two. In other words, we divide five hundred by two. We get two fifty pound. So we get. Two fifty pounds in five hundred dollars. Now we have question number four. The table shows the rates for bicycle rental at a shop. Rate for first hour is dollar six, and rate for every additional hour or part thereof is dollar four. N and city. These are two friends. Each rented a bicycle for three hours. How much did they pay in all? It means we have to find three hours payment. First hour payment is dollar six, and next two hour payment from we find the second row. We check from here. Every additional hour, price is dollar four. We have two additional hours, so we multiply dollar four by two. Now check how we do, how we solve this question. Rate, rate for one hour. Rate for one hour is dollar six, and rate for every additional hour. Rate for every additional hour is dollar four. We have. Two additional hours. Now we have to find rate for two additional hours. 
So rate for two additional hours is dollar four multiply by two. We get dollar eight. Now total payment for for one person. We add dollar four in or dollar eight into dollar six. We get dollar fourteen. This is the payment for one person. N and city, these are two person. We find the rate for two person. Rate for two person equals dollar 14 multiply by 2 we get dollar 28 now we find that how much did they pay in all they pay in all dollar 28 hope you hope you all understand these questions Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.